Hi, welcome. In this Pro Tips video, we'd like to look at the process of updating comms firmware and security patches for the Rayroll 5 devices. Over time, new features and security patches will be released for the Rayroll 5 platform. When new updates are released, they are added to the Rayroll 5 platform page on SIOS, the Siemens Industry Online Support homepage. Today, we are looking to update our device with a new comms firmware package. We select the highlighted comms firmware link and download it. The file is zipped and we need to unzip it before starting the upgrade process. We're now ready to update the firmware by connecting to the upload page on the device using a web browser. In our example, we are using Microsoft Edge. The update can be performed from the front USB port using the default IP address or via the rear ethernet port using the IP address of the configured device. We will be using the front USB port, so we will enter the front USB port address in the address bar on the browser. That is 192.168.2.1 slash upload. If you're using the rear port, you would enter the configured IP address with slash upload on the end. You may see a message saying the connection is not private. Click the advanced button and then click the link to continue to the upload page. Here is the upload page. Click on the Choose File button and select the update. Browse to your download location and select the comms firmware update that we've just downloaded. If you have a maintenance password set, you will need to enter that. And now you can go ahead and click the update button. The update process can take several minutes to complete. Once complete, you'll be given an upload summary. The device will generally restart to complete the update process. And that is the complete process for updating comms firmware and security patches on the Rayroll 5 devices. Occasionally when new features are introduced, it will be required to upload the update package twice. This ensures the new update is applied and all the new features are installed correctly. When this is required, it will be stated in the release information available with the update. Thanks for watching this video. If you'd like more information on the Rayroll 5 or any of the topics mentioned in this video, then please visit our website at siemens.com slash rayroll5. Thanks.